Okay, you guys, my plate is ready. My nacho supreme. There it is. If you guys want to see how I make this, keep just keep watching this video. You will see how I make my nacho supreme. But anyway, like this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Share, share, share with your friends and family to show them what's cooking on my cooking channel. And if this is your first time watching my cooking channel, share, share, share with your friends and family as well. Like, comment below if you have any question, and subscribe if you don't mind. I really, really appreciate it. And if you already subscribed to my cooking channel, I want to thank you guys so much. I really, really appreciate it. God bless. And if you want to see the next upload video um, that I post on my cooking channel, just make sure you guys keep your notification bell on and you will see the next upload video that I post on my cooking channel. And by that being said, you guys have a blessed day and be safe. Until then, I will see you guys in the next upload video. Alrighty, and I am hungry, hungry like Marvin. Um, yes, yes, yes. Okay, you guys, so I'm going to put some sour cream. Um, I'm just going to kind of, I love this sour cream. Or you could just go like this, kind of like, you know, I don't want to put too much on it. Sorry about that, you guys. Yeah, that's probably enough. I don't want to just drown it with sour cream. Yeah. Alrighty. That's it. And I'll see you guys in the next upload video. Bye-bye. Hello, you guys. Welcome back to my cooking channel. Well, I told you guys I'll probably just make my uh, third video uh, out of my taco meat. Okay, just make my third dish uh, out of my uh, taco meat. And now I'm making uh, nachos. Mm-hmm. These are kind of... Uh, Nacho chip, uh, nacho chip <laughs> that well, but then I'm using for my nacho supreme, okay. And this is the cheese I'm using for my nachos, okay. So I put some in the pot to heat it up, okay. This is the nacho cheese, okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna add refried beans. So this is all my toppings that I had cut up, you know, for my Mexican pizza. Okay, I just have a lot of leftover. That's the onion, green onion, jalapeno, tomatoes, olive, and sour cream. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so now, since everything is ready, I'm going to go ahead and build my taco supreme. Okay, so I got my plate. I'm going to open my nacho. Just spread it out. Okay, now I'll put my cheese. Now I'll put my beef, my taco meat. Kind of spray it around. Back. Be back. Then I'm gonna put some uh, free more uh, nacho chips on top. That. Then I'm going to put some refried beans. Okay. 
Now, usually when they put refried beans on, not so if you go to a restaurant, they put it right in the middle, but I just kind of put on each chips. But then I'm going to have to put some more cheese. Just put it uh, where the chips at. Nacho Supreme. Okay. See how they look. Now I'm going to sprinkle some onions. Some green onion. tomato wow don't that look good you guys should have took a picture of it as they can see all my thing see that mm -hmm. then put some black garlic Some jalapeno, just throw it on there. Don't matter how you guys do it, and you don't have to put jalapeno, especially if you don't like uh, spicy food. Oh, I thought I was taping, <laughs> but anyway, this is what I was doing. Just put the rest of the cheese in the middle, like that. Yep. 